praise the Lord. So when we have been right, when we have walked up right in front, when we've been faithful, the scripture said, be that faithful unto death. And I will give you a crown of life. He ain't talking about nobody can give you that crown with Jesus, but he said, be faithful. When you get a little old like I am getting old, I might want to sit down, but I said, Lord, I promise you I'll be faithful. Yeah. Sometimes I really don't feel like going. But I think about the promise I made. Yeah. I said, Lord, you've been too good. Yeah. I can't stay home because you've been good. Yeah. If it's going to service, sometimes I mean, you know, I do. I may mean, not feel just like getting ready. Yeah. But when I get ready to get there, I said, oh, God, I thank you. You brought me back one more time. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a chance to praise the Lord. You got a chance to tell him about your trouble. So I said, be faithful unto them. Because we realize that we're going to have trial. We're going to be tempted. But the scripture said, yield not the temptation. But you will be tempted. But you don't have to yield. And trouble will not last on you. If we can only be humble and proudful and stay before God, he will come and deliver us. He will do for us just what he did for Job. Restore him back in full Blessings just yeah. like he had. Said more than he had at first. So that we have to be faithful. And with, Je- with Joseph, he was able to bless his whole family. But he suffered. He suffered. Put him in the pit. Sold him into slavery. All that. But he stayed faithful. And he stayed in favor with God. Lord, I want to do what you want me to do. Yes, Lord. It hurts you when your own blood brothers turn against you, sell you, and lie on you, but you have to stay faithful. Every time you think your brother and your sister is just the best you got, but God said, put your trust in me. Sometimes we trust the flesh too much. Yeah, yeah. I believe in brothers and sisters being kind and loving to one another because that's the way we was raised. The one was sick, you went and stayed and helped them out. But nowadays, they don't do that. So Joseph's brother just hated him because he was a prosperous young man. Yeah. And he was good looking too. That's what the scripture said. Yeah, he was good to look at. <laughs> That's all right. He was. <laughs> we know what the father's wife did. She tried to trick him. But he wouldn't be tricked. He ran off and left his clothes behind him. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, but sometimes you got to run out of hats. You got to run. Don't be caught in no devil's trap. Because that was a trap she had set to catch him. She wanted to catch him. But oh, what we say, if God is for you, you want all the world again. She couldn't do Joseph no harm because God was for him. He was, he was sent that on purpose. And she could not hinder his word, God's word. You can't stop God's word. You can't stop it. You might try. And a lot of people do try. But you can't stop his word. So we praise God for knowing a man like Joseph that stood faithful and was obedient to God. And he was able to bless his whole thing. His father was able to come and receive food. But you see, you have to stay faithful. And I want you to know that God is able. There's nothing too hard for God. Nothing. We say the scripture says, is there anything too hard for God? If you got trouble, take your troubles to the Lord. Take it to the Lord and ask Him to come and help you. Deliver you. And like I said, if you live right, you got something else to stand on. Anyway, you can say, Lord, I know what I did. You know, you can talk back to him and say, Lord, I I've been faithful. And I want you to come and deliver me. Bless my children. You know, and the Bible said, in Psalms said, I've been young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Never. And it's received begging bread. So your children ain't supposed to beg when you're righteous. Ain't that right, man? Find the seven and choose the Praise the Lord. You got to, you got to do that. And then your, your children can... And reap all the new blessings for what you've done. You know, say, well, my mother may say, I know my mother prayed for me. I know I had a righteous mother. I know she loved the Lord. And you can kind of boast about it. Oh, yes, because you know what you had. You know how you was brought up to live to be humble before the Lord. So we want to make sure that we train our children in the way they should go. 
the scripture teaches us, train up a child in the way you should go. And then when trouble comes, you'll be able to go through. You'll be able to go through. You're not able to go through because you haven't been seasoned and trained. You know the scripture speaks about being preserved. You have to get your mind set. Get your, get your mind set. So whatever it takes, like she's saying this song, I feel like holding on. I feel like going on. She said, try your faith on. But I feel like holding on. Sometimes we just get so weak, I just can't make it. He done more talking. Let me, I can't make it. But he said, be strong. Be strong in the Lord. And we have to hold on. Because trouble ain't going to last always. God will come and see us. Because he loves us all. We all belong to him. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's a blessing to know the Lord. It's a blessing to live right. Oh, when you just think about He is your burden bearer. He's your heart regulator. He can do anything. God can take you and do anything He wants to do with you because He's in control. So when you know you're serving a God like that, it makes you mighty happy. Mighty happy to know that He's going to come. I don't have to fall out and cry and moan and groan think the Lord ain't going to come. Just wait on Him. Sometimes we don't have no patience to wait. That's one thing I tell the saints. We say, wait on the Lord. He will renew your strength. But when you're waiting and you're moaning and grumbling and complaining and telling everybody in town what your husband is doing, what your dog is doing, you're not doing what you're waiting, honey. When you're waiting, you're talking to the Lord. And you're waiting for the Lord to come and deliver you. But when you're talking about it, murmuring and complaining, Spread it all over time. Sometimes after it gets over time, you'll be so ashamed. You say, I'm sorry, I ever told it. Well, you shouldn't have told it in the first place. But when you wait on the Lord, you got to work. You got to wait, baby. You got to be patient. You got to be patient. And say, well, I don't know when it's coming, but I know the Lord's coming to see about me. He promised he'd see about me. He said, he that walketh up right, he will hold, will hold no good things from me. So I'm just going to wait. And I've got a testimony, saints, and I'll tell you this, and my time might be about out. <laughs> Sometimes I need to talk to talk to <laughs> Take, take the, uh, uh, Suffering. Say trouble don't last away. It's a suffering process. Yeah. And when you suffer, it's not easy. It's not easy to suffer. No, no. But when, when we suffer, we say we're going to reign. We're going to be with the Lord. Yeah. We must suffer. He said he that live godly must suffer persecution. Yeah. That's a must. Yeah. He didn't say you may be. Must. But he said you must yeah. suffer. So I, what I want to leave with you saints today is when you suffer and be patient. Yeah. Be patient yeah. and wait. Yeah. Wait on the Lord. Yeah. So sometimes I'm telling you, He don't come when you want Him all the time. Yeah. You might be looking for Him in January and He may not come till May. Yeah. So just keep waiting. Yeah. Keep on praying. Yeah. Keep on asking. Say, I'm waiting for you, Lord. Because yeah. you told me you'd come and see God. Have you been in trouble for a long time? Trouble will never end, but trouble will end. Trouble don't last always. You can have trouble, but look to the Lord. He is able and He will deliver you. So don't don't give up. Don't give up. If God ain't right, if son ain't right, if husband ain't right, just keep praying. I was in the for a long time. I didn't think I'd ever get out. I didn't think I'd ever get out. But the Lord delivered me one day. He just took a notion to walk out. And I was free. But nobody knows the tears I shed. Nobody knows the sad moments that I had. But I believed that I was doing right. And I was trying to all I knew to get right. And I believed God was going to come and see about me one day. So whatever you're going through today, 
Let us all say, I'm no trouble, ain't no last song. Ain't no last song. We just got to speak the Lord and believe what he says. So the trouble is not going to last all day. Let's, let's get faith today. Let's believe what God is telling you. Because this message is for us today. It's for me. It's for me. We have some of us been sick. Some been sick a long time. Yeah. You know people been sick a long time. Yeah. But God's still able. Yeah. We can't give up. No. All sickness is not unto death. Right. So we got to have faith and say, Lord, you promised you'd come see God. Yeah. You said, if my people who are called by my name yeah. will all let them say yeah. and pray, yeah. seek my faith, yeah. turn from that wicked way. Yeah. So we may have some turning to do today. Yeah. Has anybody got to turn around today? Yeah. Think about it. We need to think about what we're saying and when we ask the Lord to do something. Yeah. Are we turning from our wicked ways? Yeah. And we think about what kind of condition our country is in. Elder, yes. you need to turn the television on. Yes. So this is, we have a troubled time. Yes. Trouble as never before. Yes. It makes you sad yes. to watch the news. Yes. Little babies taken by sex offenders. Yes. Murdered and buried alive. Yes. Six and seven years old. Yes. That's enough to make us cry out to the Lord. Yes. And ask them to come yes. and see about us. You might say, well, I don't know, but honey, that's somebody's daughter. Yes. That's somebody's little son. Yes. And the devil is loose. Yes. And we got to bind the devil and tell him that God's rebuking him. Yes. Because we don't need, we ain't got no place here. Yes. But we got to humble ourselves yes. and start praying. Yes. Our young man is being killed over there in the war for what? We don't know. I'm not no politician, but I do know yeah. it's sad to see them kill like right that. Yeah. Five and six some days you see them kill. Yeah. Some mother's heart is sad. Yeah. She's lost her son. Yeah. So it is praying time. Oh it's time for us to seek the Lord yeah. and ask Him to come and help us. Because He knows all about us. Yeah. He knows what's going on. He knows each one of us yeah. name by name, one yeah. by one. So I want to leave a thought with you today. Trouble in the last talk. Yes. Well, whatever you're going through today, when heaven has come and we're going to call the altar and pray for you today, we want you to know that God can take anything away. There's nothing too hard for him. There is nothing too hard for God. He's able. Our young people, be sweet. Be, be nice young people. It might look like it's fun out there, but fun will get you killed. You can lose your life trying to help fun. Amen. So be obedient, children. Amen. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And he tell you to honor your father and mother. Yes. Some of us are so hard-headed and so rebellious. Yes. Mother be crying, saying, why are you going? Why don't you stay here? Amen. And you're going out. I don't know them to do that and come back. And I'll never get back home. Yes. Yeah. Oh, disobedient. It's nice to obey. Yes. It's nice to, to know that mother knows better than you. You might think she's old-fashioned and she don't want me to have no fun. Uh-huh. And everybody else is going but me. But me. Why can't I go? But you have to realize that mother knows more than you know. Your yeah, mother knows more than you know. She's going to get away you try to go. Yeah. So we're going to ask the other has to come and see if anybody wants prayer. Anybody want to tell the Lord that I've got troubles and I know you can help me bear my burden. Prayer, my brother, and Lord, help me. Because I need help. My child needs help. I may not need it, but I've got a son out there. I don't know whether he's going to come home tonight or what's going to happen. So therefore, we got to tell the Lord, come and see about us. Lord, I need you. I need you, oh, I need you. Yes, yes, Lord, I need you. Every day and every hour, we need the Lord. We can't do without him. Because the scripture tells us in him we live and move and have our being anyway. So you just need to humble yourself down and realize you need him. That you can't do without him. I need, I 